Hi, my name's Patrick, and I'll be showing you how to make a cookbook holder. The first thing you want to do is grab the timber panel, your tape measure, your pencil, and what you're going to do is mark three different cuts. The first measurements are 35 centimetres by 35 centimetres. Next, we're going to measure six centimetres by 35 centimetres. And grabbing my square, I'm going to draw a straight line through those two points. To make our first cut, I'm going to grab the circular saw, so it's time to put on your safety gear. To create the support for the stand, we're going to grab that off-cut piece and then cut a 45 degree angle. Using the sanding block and the sandpaper, give the edges a light sand. To fix it all together, use some dowel and some wood glue just to give that extra strength. We're going to now pre-drill some holes in our six centimetre piece of timber. So what we're going to use now are centre points. Great little tool, put them into your holes that you pre-drilled from before. Turn the piece over, line it up, and then just giving it a light tap. As you can see there, it leaves an indentation letting you know where to drill next. Okay, so take the two pieces, add your wood glue and your dowels, join the two pieces together, and then clamp till dry. Once the lip is dry, then just repeat the same process for the stand at the back. We're going to apply a clear varnish to the one that we've made. You're more than welcome to go ahead and use a paint that matches your home. attach the handle to the bottom lip of the stand, and that's just to support the cookbook so it doesn't fall over. Place it in the center of the lip, marking it with a pencil, and then we're gonna pre-drill some holes so we can attach it to the lip. We're gonna use these cool little self-snapping screws. You just measure how much you need, and then just use pliers to snap them off. And there you have it, a cookbook stand for your kitchen, all done.